Hello everyone. Hello. My name is Jason Bella and I have my two hard workers here. <laughs> and our organisation is called NWA Tree Project and we have two main objectives. The first is to get as many trees in our local community as possible. And the second is to help children in foster care find their forever homes. So our project started about 11 months ago and we had two little trees in some pots in our backyard and we put them on Facebook Marketplace. And something amazing happened. In one hour, I had 25 people reach out to me wanting these two little red nets. And so after looking into it, I realized trees are expensive <laughs> and they truly are not accessible to all and so NWA Tree Project offers your first tree for free and, and truly makes it a democratization and then offers five dollars for every tree thereafter and we try to have a variety of trees definitely native trees like oaks maples you can see some beautiful dogwoods here, and many, many more, all of which are potted and grown out of our own backyard. And so, when we started the project, we wanted to give ourselves a challenge. Tali, you want to tell them what we call the challenge? The Thousand Tree Challenge. That's right, the Thousand Tree Challenge. We want to sell a thousand trees in 12 months. That was our goal. And actually, when I reflected on this for this uh, presentation, uh, I remember my friend, at the time, when I told him about it, they questioned if I regretted setting such an unattainable target. <laughs> well, we're 11 months in, and I'm very proud to say that we have sold over 2,500 trees. <laughs> the girls, hey, as money comes in, what are we going to do with the money? And I've got an amazing reaction. We are a foster care family. We have RGU with us today. We have personally felt the need to find a forever home for kids in foster care. I immediately suggested Project Zero. <laughs> yeah, so Project Zero, for those who don't know, is an amazing organization. Uh, and so uh, they focus on uh, foster children in Arkansas who are finding their forever homes. Uh, currently there are 450 people, uh, 50, 450 foster children uh, uh, finding their forever home. And so their goal is to get that number down to zero, hence the name Project Zero. And so we've been very, very fortunate to have been able to donate over $11,000 to that organization as a result of the money coming in through the tree. The tree. And what that money does for that organization is that that $11,000 allows to have, for 17 children, a, a profile on, that, on the Project Zero website where there is a video, profile, pictures, a, a biography, something to actually connect to for families who are looking to adopt. And I tell you, the reaction from the community has been absolutely outstanding. I get people come up to me and say, hey, thank you so much for what you're doing. I was adopted through Project Zero. Or, hey, can we jump on the phone and talk about what it, what it is that, that it takes to adopt? Um, or, hey, this seems too good to be true. Is this a scam? Get <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, So, what will we do with the money? Let me just give you a bit of a cost breakdown of our operation. So um, it costs about a dollar a tree to put a tree together. Tyler, do you want to tell them what goes into that? The pot, the soil, the tree, and all of my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, a lot of hard work. And so we've actually been uh, looking at ways to continue to scale our organization. And uh, one of the ways that we're looking to do it is we've got a partnership with uh, the Rotary Club at the moment, actually, where we're donating 100 trees. 
and something amazing is happening there because not only do we get more trees in the ground, but word of mouth is kicked in and we get more paying customers coming in, which gets more trees in the ground and more money back to Project Zero. And so um, it, that's where we want to focus our attention uh, and that's what we would use it for here. So thank you so much. I'm very honoured to be here today. Question. How do you grow the trees? Is it from the seeds or do we have a natural? Okay, so, okay. um, so uh, a number of different ways. So um, you know we we buy trees from the forestry department at times, uh, but like we there are about to be a whole lot of maple trees that fall on the ground and um, and oak seeds. Uh, and so we do all that we can to propagate uh, that costs zero money. Uh, we want literally all of the money to go to Project Zero. And so whatever we can do to propagate the trees is, is how we actually start the trees. Thank you. If you were to have a, uh, a larger order come in, would you be doing fruiting trees like peaches or apples or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> so fruiting trees is uh, is something that I am asked at least once a week, um, and so I I am looking at ways to to make that happen. To buy fruit, fruit like small fruit trees to resell is very expensive, and so typically that's why I I, I can't do it as much. Uh, but um, we're definitely looking into that. So we have definitely heard that feedback. Okay, question over here. Sorry. We'll have room for two more, so one more after this. Um, first of all, how do we buy the trees? And then second of all, for people with black thumbs like me, <laughs> do you teach people how to take care of the tree and when to put it in the ground and those sorts of things? Sorry, that was <laughs> Okay, so where to buy the tree? So I have a uh, NWA Tree Project group on Facebook. Uh, but the way that I typically like to get my name out there is through Facebook Marketplace. I literally just have an ad that says, like, trees. <laughs> and and text, text my number. Right? Uh, but if you go on to, if you become, if you uh, jump onto NWA uh, Tree Project Facebook group, and then you guys contact me, and then I, I typically send, like, an automated, like, message that gives you all of the information around Seeker and how to go after because this is like definitely a side gig that is like, you know, not my, not my full time job. <laughs> and how do they take care of the trees? Oh, and how yeah. to take care of the trees. Yeah, um, if you have a black thumb, uh, I can, I can uh, direct you to certain varieties that will, will be safe in your hands. <laughs> okay, one last one. Do we have another question for Jason here? Okay. All right. Oh wait. Over to John. Uh, when is a good time to plant trees? What? So the best time to plant trees is actually in September, uh, because it's the time where you're furthest away from the summer months, especially for our trees. Our trees. Are, this is literally the average size of our tree. Okay. And so, um, if you put this tree in the ground, like in the middle of summer, it will struggle. Uh, in saying that, any time up until like uh, early June, if, as long as you keep the water up in summer. It's like now. Now is a now is a brilliant time. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.